Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we have another interesting problem. In this problem, we have 81 to the power of sine a squared of x plus 81 to the power of cosine a squared of x equals to 30. We are going to solve this problem for variable x and we are going to find all possible cases that can happen to satisfy this equation. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem and we will see you in about 15 seconds. To solve this problem, I'm going to start with using k for the first thing that we have here. If we use k for 81 to the power of sine squared of x, then we are going to find what we can have for the second term here. Let's start with k equals to 81 to the power of sine squared of x. I'm going to take a log of both sides in base 81. The reason is we want to remove 81 from the power so let's start with taking that log if we do this on the left hand side we are going to have sine squared of x times log of 81 in base 81 which is 1 on the right hand side we are going to end up with log of k in base 81 so at the end sine squared of x is going to be log of k in base 81 now we have sine squared of x and obviously we can say cosine squared of x can be written as 1 minus log of k in base 81. Instead of 1, we are going to use log of 81 in base 81 and then we have log of a minus log of b. We are going to write it as log of a over b. Replacing values, we are going to end up with cosine squared of x is log of 81 over k in base 81. Now we have sine squared of x and cosine squared of x. We are going to replace all these values in the original equation. 81 to the power of log of k in base 81 is going to be the first step. 81 to the power of log of 81 over k in base 81 it's going to be the second term and we have 30 on the right hand side now we are going to replace 81 to the power of log of k in base 81 as k we are going to replace 81 to the power of log of 81 over k in base 81 as 81 over k and then we will have k plus 81 over k equals to 30. Basically here, we use the identity that you are seeing here. a to the power of log of b in base a can be written as b. Now we have k plus 81 over k equals to 30. After simplification, we have a quadratic equation k squared minus 30k plus 81 equals to 0 and we can write it as k minus 27 times k minus 3 equals to 0 so k can be 27 and 3 now we are going to try to find which one is the case and how we are going to get x from the values that we got from this equation let's start with k equals to 3 
then we will have sine squared of x equals to log of k in base 81 and we have log of 3 in base 81. Remember 81 is 3 to the power of 4 and we will have log of 3 in base 3 to the power of 4. And we know that we can write it as 1 over 4. Sine of x is going to be plus minus sqrt root of 1 over 4 or plus minus 1 over 2. Now we have sine of x and we are going to find x. For pi over 6, we have 1 over 2 as the sine. So in general, we are going to have x equals to n times pi plus minus pi over 6 and n here is going to be a positive integer or 0. On the other hand, if k equals to 27, we can write sine squared of x as 3 over 4. Sine of x is going to be plus minus square root of 3 over 2 and then x is going to be n times pi plus minus pi over 3. Here n can be written as a positive integer or 0. So we will have two possible groups of answers here. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, maths involved activities and problems from different maths competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the Security channel. See you in the next video.